Hello and welcome. This video covers using the new 3D view in Garden Planner. The new 3D view in Garden Planner allows you to take a 2D view or translate your 2D view into a 3D world you can walk around. And we can turn it on by choosing Show 3D View from the Help menu. Why is this an option that you activate from a help menu? Because at this stage, a 3D view is still being developed with more objects and features being added regularly. So we're letting users choose if they want to use it right away, while well, there are a few objects missing, or you can wait for the full version that will come out soonish. Either way, the 3D view and all future updates are free for anyone who purchases Garden Planner. And that message says essentially that, um, but we also want feedback from people. Okay, so let's have a look. What we've got here is one of the sample plans, just a pool with deck and some flowers. Let's have a look at it in the new 3D view. And there it is in the 3D view, looking good. And in the 3D view, you can um, just click and drag like this um, to look around. And you can use the arrow keys to move forwards and backwards, left and right, and Z and X keys to move up and down. So you can easily find your way around the 3D view, navigate your way around. You can also change settings like the sky and also the position of the sun, if you so wish. Okay, you can also select um, objects within 3D view, and in a lot of cases you can adjust things about them. For instance, um, most commonly the height, and this wall we've selected here, we can adjust to make it smaller, just two feet there, or change it to four feet. And um, there's also a style to the wall you can change. And quite a lot of the walls and some of the plants and many other objects allow you to change a 3D style. So there we go, nice looking new fence, changed in seconds. Also, if you change any settings in the 2D view, um, they will be reflected back in the 3D view. So we can see that here. Um, we can change that coffee table to blue and perhaps we'll change this wall to a reddish brown sort of colour. And then we click on 3D view and there we go, reddish brown wall, blue coffee table, all changed instantly. So any changes or updates you make in the 2D view are reflected back in 3D view. Okay, let's create a simple plan and try building one from scratch for both 2D and 3D view. I've just got to lay out here a template for a simple house, that's just a house wall there, timber side and a neighbour's wall. And this is about say 33 feet by 36 feet. And let's have a look at it in 3D view. You can see they're just a simple brick wall representing the house and the side timber and solid wall um, of the rest of the garden. Um, I assume this is a back garden. Okay, let's add something to it. So in the 2D view, we're gonna start by adding a deck, something you can walk out to from the house and we'll just click the, as you always do in Garden Planner, just draw it out. Well, you can also drag objects from the object palette over, but in this case, we'll just draw it out. Click, 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 and double click to end and there's our deck. And is it there in 3D view? Yes, indeed. Um, we can see it there, quite a small deck. And so let's add some more to the garden. Um, we can add in some soil, just to choose from garden beds. So I'm just putting that for the rest of the garden area. As always, just click, click, click to draw it out and then double click to end. That creates the soil. And um, perhaps we could create a path here. It would create a bit of shape to the garden, creating a bit of a segment in the garden that you can use for planting and also a way to kind of guide people out from the deck and house um, into the start of the garden. So we'll just click to create that. Just a simple path done with, could have done it with a path tool as well, but I'm doing it here with a paving tool and choosing a paver texture. And let's um, perhaps add a few plants into this little garden area here. Um, so we'll just choose the shrubs and plants. I'm just using some generic ones that can represent a range of different plants or shrubs, small plants or shrubs you may have in your garden or want to put in your garden. Um, and some more leafy, bunched up plants. And perhaps uh, it would look good to have some flowers here. Uh, let's put in some lavender. Let's just scroll down. There it is. And pop the lavender in. Okay, what does this look like in 3D view? Let's have a quick look. 
Okay, it's starting to take shape. There's some flowers and plants and a path. Let's build a bit more to this garden. So perhaps next we could add in a lawn, uh, something for children to play on or pets to run around on. Um, as per usual, just clicking to draw it out. We could just have easily dragged a lawn from the garden beds objects category. And some trees in the garden would look good. Um, let's put a largish tree in the back corner, perhaps something like a birch tree. And then a smaller leafy tree um, next to our path there. That looks good. Okay, garden's slowly starting to take shape. Perhaps, uh, oh, we could add in a little gravel garden bed just next to the path. And there we go, just draw it out, a little slightly raised bed. And we can use that um, perhaps as a succulent garden. So let's hunt through the shrubs and plants down to find the succulents. There they are. And just, I'll just randomly drag out a few succulents to put in our succulent garden here, because we're doing things quickly for this video. And there we have it. Let's see what this all looks like in 3D view. What's changed? Ah, there's our succulent garden. There are trees. And in 3D view, you can you know, most objects you can select them and change the height. Let's make our birch tree a little bit taller. They're 12 feet tall. Looks good. Looks quite attractive and you can see the garden's already starting to take shape. Now let's add a bit more interest to the garden. Perhaps put some flowers on the side of our garden bed there. Some daffodils will do and maybe something a bit larger like a yeah, oleander will do couple of oleander bushes and we don't really have a way to get into that back bit of a garden so let's just grab some paving stones and pop them in so you can walk your way from that initial path just step your way out into the garden all the way out to that back tree and that makes it a inviting way to get to the back of the garden but you can see there's the plants Stones is all actually looking quite good now, looking like a real garden. We can add a bit more, add maybe some furniture. Um, it's a rather small deck I've drawn out here. I could, of course, redraw something bigger. I think it's going to be, yeah, it's a bit too small for a four-seater table, so we'll need to stick a two-seater table in there. Of course, I could redraw the deck and make everything bigger, but this is a quick video, so we'll just stick with what we've got. And there we go, and let's have a look. There's our table and chairs looking out onto our nice garden. And maybe, is there anything else we could do? Uh, let's just quickly add perhaps a plant pot with some flowers in it and just stick it on the deck there. Something that maybe could be seen from a window in the house looking out onto it. Um, what flowers have we got here? All of these flowers can be adapted to make look like anything, but let's just go with the pansies. And there we have it. Here's our garden, there's our pot with our pansies, deck, table, and it's all looking good. And it was all done in under eight minutes. So you can see how easy it is to use. You can download, if you haven't already, the free trial version of Garden Planner from smallblueprinter.com and try it out yourself.